His combat team already left for Afghanistan, but one Muslim soldier is refusing to go because of his faith. So just what is a soldier's duty when it comes to religion and the military? Private First Class Nasser Abdo signed up for the military a little over a year ago. But now he says his Muslim faith is making it hard to serve, so he is refusing to be deployed to Afghanistan. Joins us now by phone, Private First Class Nasser Abdo. Nasser, thanks for being with us. Um, I think, let me ask you, let's go back to the beginning here. I mean, did you really think it through before you signed up for the military, knowing there were wars in Iraq and Afghanistan? I mean, did you know this might be an issue with you? Uh, well, well, that's a very good question, and, and, and actually, um, I did not think it would be an issue. Um, I was under the impression that I could serve uh, both, uh, both the U.S. Army and, and my God simultaneously. So what, what made you come to the realization that you couldn't do that? Well, 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 there are lots of things that help me come to the realization. Um, I would say the number one thing would have to be um, um, as, as a time to come uh, near to deployment. I started really asking myself and taking the question more seriously uh, whether, whether God would accept what I was doing and, and, and whether I was, I was really meant to uh, go to war um, as opposed to the peace that Islam preaches. So did you now we've made the point there's roughly 12,000 Muslims that serve in the US military did you ever reach out to any uh, Muslim who is able to serve in the military and keep the faith um, yes actually um, I've, I've, I've spoken with 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 uh, one of the few Muslim chaplains in the army mm -hmm. uh, when I first considered my claim um, um, and 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 he did explain to me why he felt he believed he could serve um, and, and unfortunately, um, our points uh, did not match up, and, and we could not see eye to eye. Okay, so he he tried to state his side, how he's able to do that, but you, you guys just did not agree on that. Correct, okay. correct, yes, yes. So what is the latest? The way we understand, as far as the process, that you are going to be interviewed by a chaplain, a psychologist, there's going to be uh, an investigation by an officer, roughly. Has that all taken place, those interviews, the investigation? Well, 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 actually, um, there, there have been a few updates to the case, and that's um, um, as, of, as of very recently, um, my unit has uh, started to take the initiative um, um, and get, and, and get uh, this process underway. Okay. How do you want to see this end up? What, what is your end goal? I mean, obviously, you don't want to be deployed to Afghanistan. I mean, do you just flat out Correct. want out of the military? Right, right. Um, I, I'd, I'd have to see my end goal is. Is, is number one uh, to, to get out of the military, and, and number two to try to serve, uh, try to serve uh, uh, America in a different way, my country. Uh, I try to benefit my country in a way uh, that, that that won't conflict with with my Islamic faith. Did you did you talk with your immediate officers, your immediate superiors, those that you'd work with, those that you knew, and did you try and work it out with them, uh, voice your concerns and what you were going through? Yes, yes. Um, um, it, it took me about two months to come to that conclusion. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've lived and trained uh, with my unit for over a year at that point, and, and, and it really took me two months. But, 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 I, but I'm happy to say, you know, um, eventually I did work up the courage and, and, and go to my units before applying for kind change of subjective status and, and explain to them how I felt. Is there anything specific? I mean, what is the, I mean, what is the one thing where, you're, where you believe your faith says, no, I, I can't cross this line? Right, right. Well, um, well, 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 I would have to say that one thing would be um, that, that, that Islam is, is much more peaceful and, and tolerant religion than it is an aggressive religion. Um, and so I, I do not believe, I, I don't believe that, uh, uh, that Islam allows me to operate in any kind of warfare at all. Okay. And, and including, including the U.S. military in any war it partakes in. Um, I, I, I believe that, that our duty first as a Muslim is to serve God. Okay. And again, we want to point out there are roughly 12,000 Muslims who are in the U.S. military. Let me read this statement. It's from a spokesperson for Fort Campbell in Kentucky, uh, where Private Abdo is uh, located. Obviously, the unit is taking it very seriously. They have decided to go ahead and let the process play out. And if Abdo warrants status as conscientious objector, he will be treated as such. But right now, his deployment has been deferred. How concerned are you, Nasser, that you could be deployed to Afghanistan while this process all plays out? Well, uh, well, uh, as as the Fort Campbell uh, spokesman said, you know, it's uh, there is no regulation forbidding them from from deploying me. 
Um, so so they, they can choose to do so at any time. However, um, you know, due to the recent updates in the case and, and, and since they're beginning to process my packet in, 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 in a very efficient manner, um, uh, I'd have to say, you know, my confidence has grown that, that they won't deploy me until uh, the, the, the status of my conscientious objective packet is more clear. Okay, we'll keep tabs on this. Private First Class Nasarabdo, thanks for taking time. Clarifies.